Mike Radich here, and I'm now joined on the phone by AFC welterweight Michael Hill. Michael, how are you? Good, man. How's it going? It's going good. Michael, you got a fight coming up July 5th at AFC 19. How's training been going for the fight? Uh, training's been going good. Um, you know, yeah, it's a big fight. Um, there's Ryan Ford. Just got off uh, another fight there not too long ago with Joel Powell. So, you know, um, nothing's different. Just, you know, got right back into training and, um, yeah, getting ready for this big fight. Mm-hmm. You're going to be fighting Ryan Ford for the AFC welterweight title. What are your thoughts on Ryan Ford as an opponent? Uh, you know, Ryan Ford's a tough guy, man. Um, I think he's ranked fourth in Canada. You know, there's talks about him, you know, being the best guy in Canada and not signing with the UFC yet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a great guy. You know, I've, I've talked to him since the beginning of, of my career. I've, I've followed him before I even got into the sport. And, uh... You know, I, I always thought one day I might have to fight this guy. And so, you know, when the AFC called me to, you know, replace Joel Powell, I, I was very excited, man. I was jumping up and down. I think I was driving back from Vancouver, uh, you know, from visiting family there after my fight. And, um, and uh, you know, I was screaming out the window the whole four-hour drive, man. So I'm pretty pumped to fight Ryan Ford. I, I can't wait, man. It's, it's, it's a way better matchup for me than, you know, Joel Powell. Uh, Ryan's good everywhere. But I know he likes to stand up and uh, a bang, man. So, um, you know, expect fireworks. Mm-hmm. Have you brought in anybody specifically to train for Ryan Ford? Have you gone anywhere to, you know, maybe get some different looks in preparation for this fight? Have you changed up training at all for Ryan Ford? No. Um, you know, I, my home base is Kelowna. I'm with mm-hmm. Tashido. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think, you know, we, we got... We got the best camp, um, you know, outside of Canada other than TriStar there. Um, and, you know, and I know Ford goes to TriStar and trains with, with some of those guys. So, um, you know, I, I don't need to go anywhere, man. My home, my, home, my family's Kelowna and, and Toshido. And, um, you know, we, we got some of the best fighters here in Canada, some of the best young fighters and the up-and-coming fighters and some of the best guys that aren't in the UFC yet. So... Um, I'm comfortable with my camp and and uh, and my coach, man. So but we gotta get a game plan for Ford, and and that's uh, gonna be a good fight. Originally, you were gonna fight on July 12th at AFC 20 against uh, Adven Omek. You were supposed to fight him, but you got the call to step up and fight Ryan Ford a week earlier. How much has training had to change from going from Omek to Ryan Ford? Man, I, I literally, you know, I was getting on the plane to come home from my fight, and uh, you know, I guess I got, I got this text message saying, you know, that I said, I don't even know this guy, man. I mean, I've never heard of him, um, and you know, I heard th- this guy saying that you know, he wants to scrap me and that you know he wants to hurt me, and um, you know, tr- you know, trash talks me. I guess to, to get a fight, um, you know, and then. I was like, yeah, fuck, I'll fight this guy. Uh, especially in the Stampede, you know, I'll headline that, that big event. That, that would be awesome, man. Um, and, you know, after the Joel Powell fight, I went right up to the to the guys and I said, you know, if anything happens, you know, you give me a call first before anyone. You give me a call right away and I want Ryan Ford. I will fight Ryan Ford. And I'll put a better fight on than Joel Powell will against Ryan Ford like you you phoned me right away guys mm-hmm. and uh you know I got the phone call I thought I was the first the first motherfucker to get a call man mm-hmm. but you know um you know I, I read some forums and stuff and I guess they asked you know 10 15 you know 20 other people to fight for it and no one else gonna step up and you know admin's one of those guys and you know admin wrote a big thing say, saying you know he thought I was gonna say no too well mm-hmm. You can't say no in this sport, man. You, you gotta want to fight the best. You gotta, you know, you, you got opportunities like that. You gotta take them, man. You gotta grab them. You gotta take them. You gotta run with them. And, um, you know, so I'm laughing at, at all these guys that you know want to fight me, but they don't want to fight for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, so hopefully once I beat Ford, you know, nobody's gonna want to fight me. <laughs> so, um, you know, the UFC's gonna have to sign me once I beat Ford, and, and that's what I'm going for. Now I'm going for that belt. I'm going for that. Uh, you know that that call from the USC man. Um, you know I feel it's right around the corner, and I feel everything happens for a reason. Um, so 
yeah, man, uh, I'm ready for sport. It's going to be exciting. Mm-hmm. This is a fight that you wanted. You mentioned that you told the AFC guys, you told them, hey, if something happens, I want this fight. From what you said, they didn't come right off the bat and, and offer you this fight. They offered a couple guys before you. Were you surprised when, when you did get that call? Did you think that they were going to come come to you? I mean, you just had lost to Joel Powell. Did you think you know that there was a possibility that you were going to get this? I thought they'd come to me, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially the way, he, you know, I tried fighting Joel and, jo- and Joel tried fighting me. Mm-hmm. I mean, they know how Ryan fights. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, they, they know that nobody, you know, wants to fight Ryan. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's hard to get that guy to fight. And so, you know, when you got someone coming to you and being like, hey, man, I will fight Ryan Ford. You, if anything happens to this guy, you know, I thought for sure they'd come to me right away. Um but, you know, I understand, too, from the ASG's point of view, um, you know, coming off a loss, mm-hmm. you know, it kind of be, you know, m- maybe not so good to, you know, give me give me that fight. But, I mean, you know, me and Joel were fighting to fight Ryan Ford, and it, it was a split decision. It was not unanimous decision, and, you know, a lot of people thought it should have went my way as well. I mean, you know, holding on to me for three rounds, you know, winning that fight, you know, while I was trying to finish it every time I... I get out of, you know, him having my back or, you know, that third round trying to really put it on him. Um, you know, I for sure thought they'd give me a call right away, but, it, it, you know, like I said, man, everything happens for a reason. So, um, you know, whether they give me the call or not first, um, you know, I, I got the call and I accepted the fight, man. I got the fight that I wanted anyway. So, um, and, you know, that's that's been the prize. Ryan Ford and that child fight has been the prize. Even since the dual fight camp started, man, um, so, you know, I'm coming to get that belt. Is this the first time you're going to be fighting for a belt? Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Um, totally the first time. I, mean, I think it's, what, my, my seventh fight mm-hmm. in my, my, my career. Um, you know, I fought on a card. I think my second fight was on a card, and it was in Edmonton, and, and Ford headlined it. Um, and you know that place went wild, man. I, I think I was the first. I was the first fight on the card, man. And yeah, Ryan was the last fight, and uh, you know it's, it's pretty funny too because I think it's his last loss with David Hewlett, and uh, Hewlett's from the states, and uh, and Hewlett's coach didn't get on the plane or something happened. So ASD actually asked my coach David Lee to uh, if he would coach. You know, he led against Ford, and you know, David being such a well-known coach, and um, you know, David said, "Yeah, you know, he'd do it." And you know, he went and talked to Ford and asked Ford if that was okay. I think, and you know, Ford said, "You know, let's go for it." And um, you know, no disrespect, but uh, you know, he led ended up winning that fight that night with I think you know a minute thirty. So um, you know, Ryan Ford's last loss is you know to. To a guy, my, my coach in the corner, he didn't even know him that well. So, um, you know, man, it's, it's it's a whole different ballgame when you got David Lee and Tashio behind you. Mm-hmm. Michael, you were on the 16th season of The Ultimate Fighter. I'm sure, you know, the goal for you being on that show was to, you know, win the six-figure contract and, and fight for the UFC. That didn't end up happening, but now you got a great opportunity with AFC. I'm just curious, was plan B for you being on The Ultimate Fighter, was it to, you know, get exposure, get your name out there, you know, get people invested in your fighting, and then maybe, if it doesn't work out with the UFC, latch on to another organization and then, you know, go from there. Was that kind of your plan B? No, man. Um, you, you know, I think everyone has you know, you know, dreams and goals, and, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, my dream was, and my goal was to make the Ultimate Fighter, mm-hmm. and um, you know, that's what I did. So when I when I made the Ultimate Fighter, I didn't have, um, you know, I didn't think of other goals and other dreams. And that's where what you, what you kind of got to do. You got to work that grind to get to that goal and that dream. And, I didn't really think about winning the Ultimate Fighter. You know, I was more thought on other thoughts back home. And now my goal is to, you know, get back in the UFC and and and, and not just get in the UFC and have a win, a loss, a win, a win, a loss. Mm. You know, I want to string together a bunch of wins, yeah. and, and that's what I want to do. I want to climb that welterweight ladder, man, and, and be a champion one day. And um, you know, I know that's a lot of hard work ahead, and and uh, you know it. ASC is a great organization, and 
when they, you know, they talked to me and, you know, they laid out the contract for me, it, it was a great shot. I knew that, you know, they'd do anything, um, you know, to help me get the good fights and, and then the best fights and fight the best fighters um, here in Canada that aren't with the UFC. So, you know, I knew the Sheldon Westcott, you know, the Ryan Ford, the Joel Powell, those guys were all in the AFC. Um, so, you know, signing with the AFC was the best thing for me outside the UFC. Mm-hmm. Now, do you consider being on that show a success? Because, you know, you, you are getting opportunities that you probably, you know, wouldn't have gotten had you not been on that show and gotten the exposure that you did? Or do you consider it a failure because you're not a part of the UFC? No, no, no. Um, and, no, I, I feel like everything happens for a reason, too. Mm-hmm. Like I said, man, and in, you can't take anything away from, from when I got out of that show, but mm-hmm. like I said, you know, I told other people, I feel like I got robbed of the best experience of my life um, that way. So... <laughs> You know, maybe I just wasn't ready for the UFC yet. I mean, you know, I've only been in the sport for, you know, three years. And, you know, seven of those months, I was on, on my back injured, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all these other guys have been doing it for, you know, five, ten years. And, you know, they they got backgrounds in, in different martial arts. And, you know, I, I'm learning every day, man. I'm, I'm still so young in the sport. And, um you know, when I'm in the UFC, I'll be ready. Whether it's you know the UFC calling or, or uh, you know other organizations calling, but the main dream is the UFC, and, and I will and I will be there one day, man. Mm-hmm. Now, just one more thing about the Ultimate Fighter, and then we'll we'll get back to Ryan Ford and this fight coming up. But uh, were you surprised that you at least didn't get one opportunity to fight, maybe on the finale? Because in past seasons, guys who were on the show at least got one crack in the UFC. Were you surprised? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. Uh, you know, I was totally disappointed with that, for sure. I mean, I'm not sure what what it was. I think it's the whole, you know, Roy Nelson and, mm-hmm. and Dan White beef. Um, you know, Roy was, you know, he, he he told our team right away when we got in there, you know, just win the first fight, that's all you got to do. Win the first fight, win the first fight, you'll come back to the... You know, to the finale, it doesn't matter, you know, blah, 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 you know. So, you know, Roy's won that show before, and, you know, I'm not sure what he's so pissed off about, but, you know, he he totally, you know, cut down all, all, our, all our dreams as a mm-hmm. team and, you know, told us we didn't need to win the show and to get a contract, and, you know, sometimes the contract's better when, um, you know, if, if, if you lose the show and, and you come back anyways, and, you know, just you just filled our head with a bunch of shit. Now, back to AFC. They seem to be treating you great. You know, this is your third fight for them, third main event. Talk a little bit about the experience so far fighting for AFC. The AFC um, has been great. Great to me, man. Yeah, I think all, all three of my fights have been main events. Um, and they've just been, they've just been good. Um, you know, get me to the fights. Um, you know, taking care of me at the hotels. And, and uh, you know, the fans, the fans have been great, too, at, at every show. Um, and, you know, I asked for, uh, for an event close to my home um, there in Victoria, B.C., and, you know, they gave it to me. And, um, 
they, they've just been awesome, man. They have seen put on, you know, the best shows just here in Canada, man. Hands down, uh, Darren Moyne, Harvey, um, you know, Jason, all those guys are awesome to work for. And, uh, you know, if you're a fighter in Canada or a Canadian fighter, you definitely want to fight for these guys, man. Amateur or, or professional, um, you know, the, they're going to be big, you know, they're the biggest thing outside from the UFC, and uh, they really treat their fight as well. Um, I couldn't be happier. This fight is going to be taking place in Ryan Ford's hometown. How much are you looking forward to, you know, kind of playing that villain role of going into somebody's backyard and, and fighting them? Love it, man. Absolutely love it. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, um, you know, I've been there before. I, I've seen what it's like, man. It's, it's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I can't wait. I'm going to have the biggest smile on my face, man. It's, uh, you know, even right now, dude, I'm just, it, it's awesome. I, I love it, man. And, and you, you, you got to play that part. You got to, you gotta, you know, to be a fighter, you got to have that, that in you, man. You, you know, you can't, um, there's going to be parts of times that I'm nervous, but I'm just going to roll with it, dude. And, and uh, I'm just going to have fun, man, with that crowd. And, and uh, you know, that's the thing what Ryan does. You know, he fights a lot in Edmonton, and that's where a lot of guys, you know, like they, they get scared off that mm-hmm. intimidation factor. And, you know, Ryan, Ryan don't get me, man. And he ain't going to have no intimidation on me with, with his crowd at Edmonton, man, and a big walkout and, and all that other kind of stuff, man. It's the same dude. I'm going to fucking look him in the eyes. And, and you know, we're, we're going to fight. And, and and that's it, you know. And hopefully, you know, win or lose, it, you know, we can shake hands and, um, you know, both, both raise each other's hands up at the end of it. And, uh, and, you know, and go to the after party and have some fun and, you know, wish, wish each other the best of luck in, in our careers. Whether, you know, you get signed with the UFC, or I get signed with the UFC, or, or we're both still fighting for the AFC. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like I said, there's no ill will against Ryan. You know, he's a great guy. Um, you know, I love following him on his social media. And, you know, um, you know, like I said, I can't say nothing, nothing bad about the guy, man. Um, but, but I'm coming for that. I'm coming for that belt. And I know he's going to come for that belt. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fight to watch, man. Mm-hmm. Ryan Ford is a very talented, very experienced fighter. He's definitely the biggest name that you've fought, and he's definitely the toughest competition that you've fought so far in your career. How big of a step up in competition do you feel Ryan Ford is from the guys you've fought in the past? Um, yeah, you know, I don't really know how to answer that. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, you got you got the most experience. You got mm-hmm. you got the most fights, mm-hmm. but um. You know, I've trained with guys, you know, better than Ryan Ford. That can, that can be Ryan Ford. And, and, and guys, you know what I mean? He, he trained out there, and I was in the house with Mike Ricci. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, and I picked part of Mike Ricci's ear about Ryan Ford because I knew one day I'd be fighting Ryan Ford. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, from, from what Mike Ricci was saying and stuff like that, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, any, any guy can get beat. And, uh, and you know, and there's there's guys out here that train train with Ford, and um, we're we're the, we're the exact same kind of fighter. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we both like to stand up. Um, you know, he he wrestles a bit more than me. Um, and, and you know, when we both both are yet to show, you know, our, our ground game. Mm-hmm. Um, I think most of his losses are, are, are coming from submission, so you know I'm looking to pull off my first submission victory and, and, and you know show, show the world that I do have some jiu too. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know I'm definitely looking for that big knockout too. And um, it, it's just another fight, man. We mm-hmm. we do it here at Tashido. I'm fighting guys, you know, I'm bigger, stronger than Ryan Ford, smaller and weaker than Ryan Ford, you know, faster, slower. Ooh. Whatever it is, you know what I mean? So uh, I ain't afraid to fight anyone, man. Um, you know, I'll fight anyone on any given day. And, uh, you know, Ryan just better be ready for a fight, man. Because uh, if he takes me lightly, then, you know, then he's going out pretty quick. So, um, you know, I know I know Edmonton doesn't want that to happen. They want to see, you know, for, you know, uh, either fight rounds or, or uh, you know, get that W. So, um, yeah, he better not be sleeping on me, man. <laughs> obviously you know you asked for this fight you went to the AFC obviously you feel by taking this fight that this is a fight that you can win where do you feel that you have the advantage in this fight everywhere mm. I feel like I got advantage everywhere mm. you know I, I'm I'm bigger I'm longer you know I'm faster I'm stronger 
um, you know. And, uh, you know, I just feel uh, I got more power in my hands. I feel like, you know, I got a harder chin. Um, yeah, man, just, just everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're going to see, like I said, you know, I, I feel like we're the exact same, the exact same kind of fighters, man. Except he got he got some more fights under his belt than me, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm just a little bit bigger, man, a little bit taller. Michael, on July fifth, how do you defeat Ryan Ford? Uh, on July fifth, I, I, I defeat Ryan Ford by by fighting fight my fight, man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and, and that's wherever wherever it goes. You know, be, being aggressive. Um, you know, not not running back like most most of the guys the Ryan fights do. Not letting Ryan come straight ahead, moving side to side. Um, you know, and, and letting him feel what, you know what, what a big right hand feels like. Or you know, maybe my left hook. Um, you know, let you know letting him get wrestled and rather than him do the wrestling. Um, just just putting the fight on him, man. Um, giving him a fight. Uh, he, he ain't he ain't ever fight one with conditioning like me either, man. So, um, you know, he, he's gonna have to work, you know, work work for this for this win, man. Michael, real quick before I let you go, do you have any sponsors you would like to thank? And is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? Yeah, um, to the fans, you know, thanks thanks for having my back. You know, through this roller coaster of a life um, as a fighter. You know, you, you guys are awesome. My family and friends too here. In, here in Kelowna and, and all around BC, um, and, and a few a few sponsors for sure. Uh, my newest sponsor, Fight for Something, uh, you know, new clothing line um, here in BC. You know, they got great causes for everyone. We're we're donating some uh, money um, for each shirt that you buy to uh, the Vancouver Children's Hospital. So buy a shirt, um, and uh, and yeah, you know, One Life Fitness, Kelowna High Yoga Studio. You know, all my doctors, Dave Bach, um, and, uh, yeah, and then, you know, um, just to my family, I love you, and, and, uh, see you, see you, uh, July 5th out in Edmonton, um, and yeah, you know, big shout out to my mom, she's getting married this, this summer right after my fight, so, uh, yeah, just, you know, don't, don't stress, mom, and, um, uh, uh, come see her right after my fight, so. Um, yeah, thanks for having me, man. Sure, no problem. Michael, thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Good luck July 5th at AFC 19 against Ryan Ford. Awesome, Mike. Thank you, guys.